Hi, my name is Ed McWilliams, partner at Serenian and Associates, here today to talk about the bonus for New York State healthcare workers. As part of the 2022-2023 budget passed by New York, there was a provision of $1.3 billion set aside to recruit and retain qualified healthcare workers within the state. A qualified healthcare worker works for a qualified employer. A qualified employer is a provider that has at least one employee and bills for services under the Medicaid state plan, a home-based or community-based waiver, certain educational institutes, and other funded programs. This can include pharmacies, school-based health centers, organizations under the mental hygiene law, organizations uh, under the education law, and certain programs under OMH, OASIS, and OPWDD. A qualified employee it refers to certain frontline healthcare and mental hygiene practitioners, assistants, aides, and technicians that provide hands-on health or care services to individuals. These people must be employed by a qualifying employer during the vesting period. New York State has provided a comprehensive job title listing to date called the Eligible Worker Titles. In order to receive this bonus, employees must have received an annualized base salary of $125,000 or less, exclusive of any other bonuses or overtime pay. In order to be eligible for the healthcare worker bonus, the employee must work continuously for an employer over a six month vesting period. There are five such periods as follows. The first one starting in October, 2021, and the final one ending in March 31st, 2024. Employers are required to pay staff bonuses based on the hours worked within each vesting period, inclusive of any PTO, FMLA, or any other accrued leave. Employees are allowed bonuses for no more than two vesting periods per employer and up to a maximum of 3,000 across all employers. Employees that work 20 to 30 hours per week are eligible for a bonus of $500. Employees that work 30 to 35 hours per week, a bonus of $1,000. And employees that work more than 35 hours per week, a bonus of $1,500. Providers will be required to work uh, this program via the Healthcare Worker Bonus Program Portal, which New York State has launched. Employers will need to provide these claims within 30 days of the completion of the vesting period. They will be required to obtain both employee attestations and provide their own employer attestation in regard to eligibility. The payments will be received as part of the regular Medicaid remittance and have to, the employers have to pay the bonuses within 30 days of receipt of the funds. OMIG will be performing audits, investigations, and reviews of employers to, to determine that the bonuses were properly calculated and distributed to eligible staff. Providers that fail to participate or identify claims and bonuses for workers may be subject to penalties of up to $1,000 per instance. Please join us on August 18th for our webinar, which we will do in a Q&A format to better provide more guidance. And please make sure to follow us on all of our social as seen below.